Aaron, solid uh, win for your team tonight. Talk to me about um, scoring four touchdowns and how you were able to do that. Uh, you know, it's fun. Uh, it's fun getting in the end zone and all that, but uh, it starts with the offensive line. And without them, I mean, you can't have anything. You can't get in the end zone. QB can't make a throw. I'm not able to run because the guys are going to be in the backfield. So, you know, it comes with the hard work that they put in up front. Did you expect to win this large over Blaine tonight? Not at all. You know, you coming into this game, they're ten and zero. They got a great quarterback, uh, arguably one of the best, if not the best, quarterback in the state. They got a very good offense, very underrated defense. We thought it was gonna be a dog fight, and uh, you know, we came out, we hit him in the mouth, and uh, they just kind of folded. So you know, fortunate for us, uh, we were able to come out and put points on the board early, and that just made everything else easier. Well, congratulations tonight, and good luck against Mountain View. Thank you. Coach Lombardi, uh, you guys uh, pitched a shutout tonight. How did you game plan for this, and what did you tell your guys, and how did you get them ready for this game? Um, I don't know. They had such a good quarterback. I think he's going to be the Metro Player of the Year, I'm guessing, and he was a dominant athlete. But we just kind of said, give them different looks, try to do things to make him see different things, and try to make he's, he's They're still young kids in high school, and if you give them different looks, they still have to make plays. And so we just wanted to kind of put the onus on him and see if he could perform. And he did a wonderful job all year. We just were able to make some plays on him, and it, it paid off. seemed like you were mixing up your blitzes and your coverage. Um, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, we kind of gave him a little bit more looks up front than we normally do. I mean, no, we, we blitz a lot anyway. I mean, that's obviously our stuff. But we did it from different spots on the D-line a little bit. So it was uh, we gave him a little bit different looks up front. And I think it paid, it paid dividends, actually. Zach, you, you had two sacks and a touchdown tonight. Talk to me about uh, your performance a little bit and how, how your team did against Blaine. You know what, we had a great game plan coming in and uh, I just got I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. And uh, A lot of things worked out for us tonight. It's good we're moving on. Did you expect to win this large over Blaine? Uh, either team, I think we knew that we, uh, we, could, we could handle if we did the things we need to do and I think we did, a, we did our job in the outcome show. How were you able to contain uh, Klein so well? Um, well, we got some. We got four speed guys on the uh, D line, and they really played their butts off tonight. The whole defense did, and if we all did our jobs, we knew that we could contain them, and that's what happened. Well, congratulations on the win. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Coach Anderson. You had a big win over Blaine tonight, 34 to nothing. Did you expect to to rattle that many points off and be able to control what they what they want to do so much? I did not expect to beat a team like that by that many points. I thought we'd have to score about five or six touchdowns tonight to beat them, but I thought it'd be a one or two score game at the most. Uh, yeah, obviously, we played really well on in, on offense, defense, and our special teams uh, to come up with a victory like this. Aaron Ross scored four touchdowns tonight. Seems like you call his number when you get close to the goal line. Uh, any thoughts about that? You know, Aaron's a team player, and the neat thing about Aaron, and, and he, he did this just recently, he says, wherever you need me, I'll play. And when we moved him to slot receiver a week or two ago to give us some extra flexibility on offense, took some carries away from him, but he didn't care. He just he just went out there and played what we asked him to. Tonight we moved him all around on offense. We played him almost full time on defense. He made a difference on that side of the ball as well. So, you know, I'm very happy for him because of the type of kid he is. Talk about the defensive effort tonight, would you please? Well, I, you know, anyone who's here, they they should walk away pretty impressed with that group. Uh, you know, they came after, you know, very good offense, uh, took them out of their rhythm and really took a, a you know, great offensive player and made them play going backwards, I would say, most of the night. How do you, how do you get ready for Moundsview? Tomorrow morning we'll start worrying about that, but tonight all we're going to do is we're going to celebrate this victory. you got to learn to celebrate those great moments in life, and, and that's what we're going to focus on now. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks for your time. Hey, thank you so much.